First up, we have a beautiful child by the name, and if I mess up the name, just shout it to me and I'll get it right. Kalani Maria Smith. Is that right? Now you know right? I didn't know if y'all was like Kaylani or Keylani. You know, sometimes y'all get fancy with it. So, see, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, Keylani Maria Smith. I don't mind being corrected. Amen. That's your baby's name. Amen. And I'm gonna need a little help with this one now. I ain't even gonna front. I know the first name because it's a part of what I do and who I am. But that second name, I thought it was Jambalaya, but no, that ain't quite it. Purpose. One more time. Jariah. More. more. Jariah. Purpose Jariah Moore. Black folks will come up with some names. You hear me? I'm 52. I ain't never heard of no Jariah. That's all right, though. I like that. It's got a nice little swing to it. Now, I think I can get this one right. Unique spelling. Yeah, you did, you did a little something on this one, too. You put a little paprika on this one. Sanaya. Thank you, Jesus. All right, amen. Sanaya Perry. All right, I did good. I did good on that one. I didn't know if it was Sanaya or Sania. So, you know, I was going to take a shot at it. Amen. These babies are beautiful. I do want to tell you that. And again, we repeat, they are blessings from the Lord. In Proverbs 22 and 6, God makes a promise to parents. And I'm thankful that my parents took him up on this promise. And... I took him up on this promise. It says, train up a child in the way that they should go. And when they are old, they will not depart from it. Here's what I want to just drop in your spirit quickly. Teach them when they're young. Do not wait until they're older. Somebody say, teach them when they're young. Do not wait until they're older. In other words, parents, God wants you to train by demonstrating, not by dictating. I want you to hear that now. Because a lot of parents say, you know, do as I say, don't do as I do. And that might work for a little while. But children are very observant. Amen, somebody? And I just want you to know there are no perfect parents. Okay? Pastor Tish and I didn't get it all right all the time. She got it more wrong often than I did, but... I still got it wrong sometimes. No, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. There's no perfect parenting because nobody gives you a manual and every child is different. I'm always amazed how you can have three children grow up in the same house and every one of them are different. One, one you can speak to and they'll go to crime. One you speak to, he buck up at you. That ain't my child. And the mastery of parenting is you really have to study and learn your child. Because the goal is to nurture them, not crush them. The Bible says train up a child in the way that they should go. The mistake that most parents make is that they traumatize the child, trying to train the child. So lead by example. And I know we're not perfect, so this is what I teach every parent. If you got some issues in your tissues, you got some habits that are like rabbits and they just keep multiplying and won't go away, and you don't want your children to pick them up, then practice, practice, practice the art of discretion. Children don't need to see everything. Come on, somebody. They don't need to see everything we do and everything. They don't need to hear everything we say because they will pick it up. I've seen little children who grow up in the house of smokers, no slant on smokers. I, I tell people that you shouldn't smoke because it's bad for your health. That's, right. That's the only reason why I tell people not to smoke. Plus your breath stinks. <laughs> but if you choose to smoke, that's your prerogative. Don't laugh at me, Maria. But I've seen two-year-olds and three-year-olds. Wish I had a, a pen. They'll find a pen or they'll find anything and, and you'll see a two-year-old walk around the house. That's why I'm here. And the dumb parent, y'all know I don't filterize nothing. And I've seen dumb parents, look at my baby, look at my baby. You should never applaud your child emulating something that you do that's not good for them. Amen, somebody? So again, I challenge you, practice discretion. If you cuss, don't cuss in front of your kids. Now, I know there's some cussers in here. Come on, Kirk Franklin. You them church, are you with me? Yes, sir. 
Amen. And if you cuss, don't cuss in front of your kids. Because, see, you're going to get mad when they go to school and they're cussing. And the teacher trying to figure out where they got it from. And you're going to be talking about, I don't know where they get that from. Children see and children do. If y'all going to fight, don't fight in front of your kids. Amen, somebody? Let your children see all of that that is good so that they might imitate and emulate all that is good. 3 John 1 and 4 is the final scripture that I want to talk about and I won't be long. It says, I have no greater joy. And I love this scripture. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children are walking in the truth. Ain't nothing nicer when you can see your children finally get it. It, it, you can't really explain it when you see your children desiring to do what's right. They, they, they're saving their money. They're getting an education. They've discovered who they are. They are leaders and not followers. They love God. They like church. They seek to do what's right by the Creator. Man, that is an awesome and amazing feeling. I will tell you this, though. They won't get there without your help. Because this world is after your children. You hear me? I'm telling you now. I'm very thankful that all of my children are young adults, but let me tell you something. You guys are living in a different world and you're raising children in a dangerous place. If Cardi B don't get them, you better hope Lil Nas don't get them. Everywhere you turn, there are influences that are trying to snatch your children right out of your arms. But we say the devil is a lie, amen? We say we put a hedge around them. We stand guard for our children. We stand in the gap for our children. And we decree and declare that they will serve the Lord, that they will be prosperous and they will be healthy and they will do great things and contribute to our world. That's what we declare. Parents, grandparents, godparents, grandparents, family and friends, I'm going to ask you to vow to God now that you will train up this beautiful gift in the way that they should go. Amen. I'm going to ask you two sets of questions. If you agree, say I do. If you don't agree, don't say nothing because I don't want you to lie. Amen. Amen. Do you vow to train up these children in the way that they should go according to the word of God? This is where you say I do if you agree. I do. I do. Don't say nothing if you don't. All right, that was a, that was a, that was a sketchy I do. It's quite spotty, I do. Let me think about it. Yeah, I do. Uh, well, since the two of them said it, yeah, I do. You sure? Because you're making a vow before God now. Second question is, do you vow to train <laughs> by demonstrating and not by dictating? I do. Much stronger. Now, I want everybody to do me a favor. Each tribe, I want y'all to gather around the babies. Gather around the babies. I want you to look at them. Don't look at me, look at them. Because I just had you make a vow to God, but now I want you to make a vow to the child. Amen. I take parents in very seriously. Amen. As you look at that child, I want you to repeat after me. Say, we, we promise, to promise to love you unconditionally. Feed you nutritiously. Feed you nutritiously. Yeah, some of y'all don't want to say that because y'all love to swing by McDonald's. <laughs> Protect you from harm. Treat you, with respect. Treat you with respect. Guide you in learning from mistakes. Guide you learning from mistakes. Both, yours Both yours and mine. I will laugh with you. I will make time to play with you. I will comfort you in times of sadness. Encourage you to develop your talents. Support you in striving to achieve your goals. Okay, and I promise, and I, promise. I, will and I will always be open and honest with you, and I will always be there for you, be there for, you. for the rest of my life. Of my life. Amen. 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 Amen, and amen. amen. That's a good place to give God praise. Current age of the baby, how old is Keelani? Seven months. Seven months. How old is Purpose? Eight months. 
eight months. And how old is Sanaya? One? She should have been over there. <laughs> we should have took her down in the water, amen. All right, so I got, I got, I'm glad I work out, amen. Give me Kilani Maria Smith. Oh my God, how you doing, man? Good. good to see you, brother. Hello, beautiful. How are you doing? My God, my God. She's all oh, very observant, very observant. All right. You are beautiful. Lights attract you, okay? That means you're gonna be a star. All right, That's all that means. Yeah. Gonna be a star. Father God, we christen Kilani. <laughs> if y'all could see this face, we good. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I think she just cussed. I think she just cussed. Bless you. You will be blessed. Yep. I think she cussed the pastor. Well, she did that. <laughs> Give me purpose. Give me that second name again. I'm Jariah. Jariah. Kind of like giraffe. So it's a mixture of giraffe and Mariah together, a Jariah. Got it. Yeah, I'm messing up your name. Beautiful queen. Oh, Lord. Better do it quick, Pastor. Woo, beautiful. Okay, in the name of Jesus, we christen you. Your parents did this to you. In the name of the Father, the Son. Sorry, that was a dry sun. Son, <laughs> Holy Ghost, amen. <laughs> Woo, pastor getting cussed by the babies today. Well, if y'all knew what they were saying in their spirit. And last but not least, Sanaya Perry, who's one years old. Yes, yeah, she look heavy. She, <laughs> She, she's a thickums, amen. You, you ain't missing no meals, are you, baby girl? Uh, none. Oh, you want to hold on to mama? I don't blame you. You don't know me, do you? Is this going to work? Can you? Okay, not going to happen. Why don't you come on up here? Now, you probably going to get a little sprinkle, but you probably can use a little bit, so come on. Come on, come on, because I don't think Thank she's going to. I don't think she's going to let me hold her. We'll try one more. One more time. Yep, psych. Okay. Sanaya. Sanaya. We christen you in the name, look, look, all right? Water. In the name, I'm sorry, baby. The Father, <laughs> Son, <laughs> Holy Ghost. <laughs> Amen. You. You're welcome. God bless you. Watch your step now. We got that no fault insurance. You fall, it's no fault of ours. Amen. Now I need everybody who believes in the power of prayer. I need you to stretch your hands toward these children. Parents, I salute you for doing this. Amen. I'm finding so many people that are so modern now, they have no time or no need for these type of ceremonies. But I was christened. I was dedicated to God. And I believe it makes a difference. Stretch your hand toward these children. Father God, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus, or as the Hebrews called him, Yeshua, that we decree and declare that the devil cannot have these babies. Yeah. Yeah. That whatever plans he is constructing, yeah. Yeah. we say no weapon formed against them shall prosper. Yeah. I pray God that in the future realm of their young adult lives, that even now you are preparing their husbands. Yeah. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, yeah. we don't leave it up to chance, we don't leave it up to feelings, we ask you to intervene yeah and prepare them men of God who will nurture them and bless them and cover them in the mighty name of your son Jesus. I decree and declare that they will not be poor and that the spirit of poverty will not know their names, but they will be blessed and prosperous in the name of Jesus Christ. 
that they will be examples to their peers. And above all, let them be leaders and not followers. Last but not least, because they are females, I ask that you protect them from every predator that may cross their paths. Do it so that these fathers don't go to jail and these mothers don't wind up in prison because we do not play about our children. And I should have blessed these families, each tribe, God. Bless them, God. Bless them and lead them that their light might shine brighter and that they might draw closer to you and be the example of a demonstration and not a dictator. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. Now let's praise God for the babies. Come on. God bless you. God bless you, Sanaya. God bless your purpose. God bless you, Keelani. Amen. As you make your way back to your seats, are y'all ready to praise God a little bit more? I want